Hi everybody, it's Vicious here. So, um, CEO Taku is going on right now, and basically DNF Duel just finished, but before DNF Duel finished, uh, before they even went into the top eight, they did an announcement which we're going to be looking at right here, DNF Duel notice on future updates, and we're going to listen to what um, the head producer is going to say. We're going to listen to that, and we're going to... Um, we're going to talk a little bit about it and how DNF Duel is doing right now and how the marketing uh, is going for it so far. Uh, I'm going to give you my honest thoughts, which I've been trying to make a video, but like every video I make comes off as like fanboyish or seething. You know what I mean? And I'm trying to find a healthy balance. But anyway, here we go. Let me go ahead and uh, move my shit over like this. Director. Sorry. Kodani. It's good to see that they're, um, if I may pause this just really quickly. It's good to see that they're noticing something like CEO Taku. Uh, I don't think that's normally like on the map. For like you know like uh, reveals or even talking about anything like normally it's like they do the developer thing where they get together which they haven't done that for a while um and also they'll do it like at uh like at uh what's that other big one down south in in florida um i think that's just regular old ceo right you know they might do something at frosty files things they might do something at evo but CEO Taku, I think that's a new one. <laughs> you think he's really sorry? He's like reading off of the queue. He's like, all right, I'm, I'm really sorry about all that shit. Nah, he's sorry. Issues with the Steam version. My issues have been with the PlayStation version because I got both. I got um, both versions of the game. The main thing with the Steam version I don't like is like, let's say your controller falls asleep, or let's say it disconnects because you know you've been on the game all fucking day for like two days and like uh, you know it just doesn't it, 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 it the battery went out. You know, if you like try and plug it up and try and restart the the controller, it doesn't sync up the DNF Dual unless you're um you have to be like on uh, big picture mode and you have to like restart the game. Look, our direction is to add only buffs for all characters. Let me tell you this. I'm glad that he's actually coming on and he's actually telling us the game plan. I actually commented on Anime Illuminati's page earlier saying that they should really give us an update. You know, we had a developer backyard with Guilty Gear and even with Blaze Blue Tag, you know, which I feel like is like the earliest when they started doing stuff like this. With Blaze Blue Tag, they gave us a lot of uh, information like what are they going to do? You know, are they trying to add more DLC characters? You know, how, how did the process of uh, the the battle process of the game work out? You know, how did you come up with this? And we've gotten nothing from them. As you can see, uh, somebody like said that, uh, you know, DNF Duel isn't controlled by Arc System Works. or They said something fucking stupid to me. Um, they, I, you know what? Let me not say stupid. They said something and a bunch of drones liked it. You know, uh, they said that DNF Duel isn't uh, developed by Arc System Works. And, you know, here, look at this Arc System Works thing in the background. Look at this Arc System Works employee. If you don't know the relationship between Arc System Works and DNF Duel, Arc System Works employees uh, basically supervise. They're like the heads of this project. Um, whereas aiding. Um, is doing a lot of the, the programming and developing. I think they do like the battle strategy as well. So there's that. Now, I believe that Neopol 
uh, or Nexon, whatever is Nexon the parent company? I believe Nexon is actually in charge of uh, uh, like what they can do in terms of marketing, and they're doing a terrible job. You know, this is the first good thing that they've done, and we're going to take a look here in a second. We're going to go on a field trip to see what the last time uh, they they interacted with us was. You know what I mean? So yeah, you know, let's let them continue. Um, but actually, no, no, let's not do that because he said all the characters are getting buffs, and for a lot of people, they're like, yeah, all I want is buffs. But honestly, you know, do we really need Crusader and Hitman to have buffs? Does Dragon Knight need buffs? Does uh, Striker need buffs? This seems silly. Now, if he's talking about in a general sense where they're like buffing the mechanics, so like you know, there's a emergency roll instead of a um, instead of a uh, guard cancel. I could I, I think I understand that a little bit more than making Swiftmaster S tier. Uh, well, back to the same S tier place he was. He's still S tier and making Hitman even better. Why would you make Hitman better? You know what I mean? Um, a lot of people uh, seem to like that, but also I know a lot of people are going to hate it. A lot of people are leaving because Hitman, Crusader, and, um, well, Swiftmaster still are dominating online. And, and you know, uh, Striker is too. So, like, hearing that all of them are getting buffed sounds silly to me. But, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, you know, they make them all really strong. If they're going to make them all busted like Hitman, we might have something. But I tend to enjoy the back and forth in fighting games. So, you know, having um, two interactions and then dying is not fun to me. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. It'll take some time, but we'll share more details later. <laughs> but oh finally we're working on something other than the balance patch i'm sorry i'm not mocking this gentleman i'm just saying like it's what i want you know i want a balance patch but i really want uh to 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 have another character in the game already right it'll take quite some time before we have this ready Oh, hey, I'm excited, buddy. Alright, so they're supposed to be doing the update um, for the bugs by September. Yeah, he has an update, depend, uh, depend, an update um, set for the end of September. And for December, we're getting the balance patch. All right. Yep, for late December, so almost into the new year. All right. So it's September, October, November, December. We got three months, man. We got three months with this uh, patch that we have right now. And they're going to be doing something um, to buff all the characters. And then we're going to hopefully have a season pass like that's really what we need to be looking forward to is a season pass like we want the rest of the cast from dfo personally i'm wanting rogue rogue is my favorite class uh, i know we already have a thief class but you know we have two slayers male slayers that is and we have two uh agents so i don't i don't feel bad about that request um bring us a female slayer double up on the the mages too and you know throw my rogue in there please pretty please you know i'm doing mad coverage for this game anyway all right now is when we're going to be looking at the comments and uh what do we got here so i said thank you for the update i look forward to the update and whatever else is planned fingers crossed for a season pass announcement and rogue and let's see what else we got here so so far this video has 2,000 views uh 279 likes and 29 dislikes who are these losers man like i don't understand like you know if you don't like the game why are you even watching this video you know what i mean like there are tons of games that i don't like but i don't watch the videos of those games and i, I don't intentionally dislike it you know like unless like what are you a fan of this game and you want the update quicker i think you're a fucking huge baby you know, the game's been out for four months, you know, 
four months. I don't know when Grand Blue Fantasy Versus got its first big patch, but it was, I think it was like in, uh, it might have been five or six months. That game did not have DLC very quickly. I just remember that. Um, so, oh, sorry, CEO Taku is still going on. Guilty Gear is going on down here. But, um, yeah, hopefully whatever they're working on is big. I still got hope. Um, I really like this one from Stephen Gooding. Stephen Gooding. Hey, this guy's commented on my page a couple of times. Um, I still got hope as well. DLC characters and stages are desperately needed. I want more stages, but I want more characters than I want more stages, if I could be honest. Um, which isn't a slight on him. It's just, you know, it's just how I feel. Uh, the game is a work of beauty. Please continue to support. See, this is what I'm saying. I'm sure it has some epic cool awesome outstanding dlc characters planned for sure and that's dnf duel's strong point and you'll hear me say that all the time dnf duel's strong point is it has a lot of cool characters there are a lot of cool characters there's a lot of variety there's no two characters that are even close to the same you know so like saying you know oh this game is flow charty i know the game can be flow charty for several characters but you know there's not a fighting game out there that you can't say right now has no flow charty characters especially not top tiers you know people are leaving dnf duel to play dragon ball fighters especially when it gets rollback netcode i'm not going to tell anybody that they shouldn't play dragon ball fighters but i will say that um you know if you're leaving dnf duel because there's bullshit in the game with like you know hitman and swift master you're going to the game that has the most bullshit where you can get touch of death you know with like certain with certain character combinations you're going to get a touch of death done to you and you know that's what at the higher levels at the higher levels it's going to happen periodically it's not going to happen all the time but you know there are characters there are people that can two touch you on that game and they'll two touch all three of your characters and that's just how it's going to be uh guilty gear i just seen a replay earlier where um uh what was it ramethal versus zato one this motherfucking zato got like hit, touched twice and then like he tried to attack ramethal during a reka and he got hit so he got hit twice right he got bounced up and then she hit him two more times did a super his risk gauge was like 30 percent full everybody's commenting on the risk gauge but it was 30 percent full and i gotta see if i can find that shit actually no i don't i don't want to really rewatch it but the moral of the story is after getting like 30 percent of his life taken away he got killed you know in the very next combo <laughs> So, you know, if you're mad at DNF Duel for that, I just think you're you're cherry picking. And it's fine not to like DNF Duel, but come on. Anyway, let's see when the last time they actually, like, had any sort of, like, conversation with us. So, DNF Duel came out, wow, it says three months. So, it hasn't technically been four months yet. It's It'll be four months tomorrow. But the last time... That they talked to us. Can you guys even see that with my uh, with my filter? Hold on a second. Let me uh, fix that. There we go. Oh, shit. I accidentally opened Wii Mod. So, three months ago, um, that's when they had this video. This was the launch video, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Three months ago. Right? Here's a promotional trailer. 3.4 million views, bro. That's a lot. You know, especially for this game. And here's the last time he talked to us three months ago. And that's that's fine. Like, as I'm looking at this, I'm looking at this and I'm like, you know what, man? They really didn't really need to. Like, how often do we need people to check in with us? Like, I like the developer backyard more than, like, the next guy, right? I like when the developers talk about their plans for the next uh, patch etc etc but looking at what we have right here like bro <laughs> like it's been three months it'll be four months tomorrow and people are like where's the season pass in the first character you know like guilty gear i'm gonna have to go on a field trip one day but not today because you know i got off work i got like three more hours to be up and after i oh hold on a second guilty gear hold on hold on, hold on, hold on. Rollback public test. They just announced rollback netco for Guilty Gear Exerted Rev 2. I don't care about that, but I, I'm sure a lot of people do. Um, anyway. Oh, shit. You know what? That might be a good time to um, get Exerted 2. 
If you don't if you don't like how slow Guilty Gear Strive is, pick up Exerd, and I'm sure you'll fucking hate it because it's honestly I don't like it as much as Blaze Blue. I don't like Guilty Gear as much as Blaze Blue. Um, stuff in that game is weird to me. Like you anti air somebody, if it's not a counter attack, you get if you punch them or kick them, they're gonna fall out in the very next hit. There's no real like long combos unless you're like grounded and got like some crazy counter hit from my experience but i'm not a good guilty gear player except on strive but anyway yeah how much how how much do we need you know how 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 many updates do we need before we're just like you know what we're good you know three months is fine uh four months is fine Uh, i think the main reason people are mad and like really want updates because they're losing they're losing like a motherfucker to characters they don't want to lose to. And, you know, they could just be fed up with some of the people that they're playing with. Like, I play with my friend Hans. He started using Crusader and Hitman. He's annoying as fuck. You know, he only used these characters not even because he likes them, just because he wants to win. You know what I mean? So, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, this video is over. Let me know what you think. You think I should turn the camera off? Uh, you know, is my head too shiny? I know the lighting is fucked up. But we're done. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.